Tournament arcs are a blessing and a curse, and this is very apparent in Food Wars. Even though there were only a few tournaments, my interest in the story always seemed to dip around those arcs. Here's why. Food Wars had a very unique concept. The main characters went to a culinary school where they learned about cooking, but there was something that made it stand out, the Shokugeki. The Shokugeki was a cook-off with judges and stakes. Both parties would set up the consequences for loss and then battle each other. There's a lot to unpack with the potential of Shokugekis, but I'll get there later. Towards the beginning, Food Wars established a formula. Two characters in the school would have a conflict that would lead to them having a Shokugeki, but then tournaments appeared. My first issue with the tournaments is that characters were forced to fight each other. They usually didn't have any personal conflict with their opponents, and that removed part of the pros of the Shokugeki formula. In the autumn election, most of the matches are impersonal. Look at the final three-way match. Soma had no conflict with Kurokiba or Hayama. They were all just fighting because they had to. At most, you could say Soma had a rivalry with Hayama since he placed higher than him earlier in the tournament. This is the final battle and there are barely any personal stakes. The only one that could be counted as personal is Soma vs Subaru, which was Soma getting revenge for Takumi. In the Rebels vs Central tournament, you could argue that the Rebels as a whole had a personal conflict with Azumi's cooking philosophy and Central as a whole, but the individual Rebels didn't have conflict with the individual Elite 10 members. Once again, the battles were impersonal. Compare that to when Soma defended Don RS from having their club demolished by challenging Ikumi to a Shokugeki, or when Megumi got expelled and Soma challenged Shinomiya to a Shokugeki to rescind her expulsion. It doesn't even have to be a straightforward Shokugeki to interest me. Soma helping out the Karage shop in his hometown by challenging Kinu and cooking hard was great. Soma challenging Kuga in the Moon Banquet to try and earn more money was also great. Which group of battles sounds more interesting? The impersonal tournaments or the personal battles? All of these battles are personal and have a good amount of setup leading to the actual face-off. Seeing Soma, Megumi, and the Don working hard to figure out what Soma could cook to beat Ikumi was more interesting than the back-to-back -back battles. The tournament battles feel stale in comparison due to the lack of personal conflict. Plus, the two actual Shokugekis I mentioned use the concept of Shokugeki in interesting ways. They show how powerful and versatile these cook-offs are. They show what you can gain and what you can lose. That basically disappears when the students are forced into tournaments. The most unique aspect of the story is thrown to the wayside and underused. Another problem with tournaments is how many battles there are, which leads to arcs being long. Ignoring the personal versus impersonal issue, the other types of battles have one setup that leads to one battle, but these tournaments have one setup that leads to several battles. The Autumn Election had 7 straight fights, and the Rebels vs Central had 13. This is unsatisfying to me, because before, each battle would have a unique setup, but with tournaments, it's just back-to-back -back battles that all share one setup. This is lazier and less interesting. It also results in these arcs taking longer. Finally, the plot freezes during every tournament. All the characters either fight or watch others fight while the world stands still. There are no new developments or new events in the plot during tournaments, just fight after fight. Once the autumn election already happened, the central fight just felt like a repeat since tournaments have to follow similar structures and have little room for individualization. When I add all these issues together, it results in inferior cooking matches and a lot of untapped potential. It's not like there's nothing good about tournaments. It allows multiple characters to be introduced in quick succession, and it allows characters that might not have ever fought to fight each other. But personally, I think it would have been much more interesting if a personal conflict was created between two characters rather than an artificial conflict like a tournament. It's cool to see Soma, Kurokiba, Hayama, and Aishi in a tournament, but I believe it would have been far more interesting if there was a personal conflict developed between them which led to a battle. It would do more for their characters because they would have to be developed in order to come into conflict. The fight would also be more engaging due to it being personal. Think about it, is it more interesting that Goku fought Vegeta, Frieza, and Cell for unique reasons? Or would it have been more interesting if he was forced to fight them in a tournament? It takes more time and effort to go down the personal road, but it's more rewarding. In conclusion, Food Wars tournaments were troublesome because they removed the personal and unique conflicts from the cook-offs. They prevented Chokugekis from reaching their full potential. The tournament arcs were longer and lazier and didn't set up each fight, and the plot came to a screeching halt each time. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.